Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are on a new project, interior design project. This property is located in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. And of course, it's being done virtually or remotely. I have my client doing the walkthrough of the space. So we're headed down to the basement level of her home and we are going to be redesigning three spaces on this level. So just giving you guys a look at what we're working with. This is the entrance to their, you know, basement. Um, they had a little bar lounge type of situation happening down here. As you can see, it's pretty dated. That uh, bar came at the house when they bought it. They, they didn't put that in. And this space is just kind of dead space. It's not being used for anything. They don't really occupy this space currently because of, you know, what's happening in the space. It's just not very inviting. So the aim is to give it a complete makeover. So we're walking to the back here and she wanted to have a space for her youngest daughters to do their homework and have a little like hangout spot. So we're gonna convert this little space here uh, into that. Behind that door is um, their small gym. So this is what the space is looking like now. We had some doors installed just to make it into an actual room for the girls. And the walls here were painted in an off-white. We had chosen some decals to place on the wall just to give it, you know, some interest, a pop of color. The decals were chosen from Shein and they were super affordable. Most things in here that you see are actually purchased from either Shein or Amazon. And the art piece over here was from Wayfair. Again, just adding in some personality. My client really loved that piece of art. She said that every time she walks into this space, it makes her feel really happy, which is, you know, the aim. And on the extreme left is a chalkboard wall decal sticker. Uh, it's for the girls to get really artsy with it. They can use their chalk and get to drawing. Now, this is the secondary space on this level. It's their guest bedroom. Currently, it's not saying much. There's, you know, nothing really happening in the space. It's dark. Uh, my client really wanted to brighten the space. She wanted to bring in that bit of bohemian farmhouse vibe down here. So that's exactly what we did. We went in with this wallpaper from Wayfair. My client had some professionals come in and install the wallpaper and she and her husband pretty much did everything else themselves. They're very handy. I have to give it to them. So she's here doing the final touches. Of course, with my guidance, we're doing a Zoom call here. I just did a screen recording of this moment. And yeah, the headboard is from Etsy. It was under 300 US, I believe. And the light fixtures mounted on the wall are from Amazon. Those were under 100 US. So now we are diving into a little bit more of the behind the scenes of this entire process. You're looking at the shopping list that I created for this client. It's pretty user friendly. I just created three columns. You have one column with the images of each product to be purchased. In the second column, you have the name of the product, the price, the quantity that is needed for each of the products. And in the last column, you have the clickable links to shop each product. So yeah, it's pretty easy to use, easy to follow. And of course, what goes with that is the mood board to show the client, you know, what it is exactly that we're trying to achieve in each space. So this is what the room, the guest room is finally looking like at the end of everything. In keeping with the theme of Bohemian Farmhouse, we have some wood tones throughout artificial plants simply because there's not a lot of natural light that comes down into this space. And of course, we have some texture going on with the rattan headboard with a metal frame going around it the fabulous wallpaper to the back just you know giving some additional dimension and flair to the space the rug is from rugs usa and yeah that's it for the guest bedroom 
And now we're moving on to the bar lounge area. We got rid of the old built-in cabinetry that was there, put in this modern sleek one. I have my clients doing the green wall installation. These are all faux plants and they're working together as a team on this one. It was quite the DIY project. So I just want you guys to remember what this space looks like before. It was dated. You had all these different colors happening. Uh, my client was not a fan really of the colors here in this space and they really didn't care much for this older built-in bar area that was here when they bought the space. So really the aim was just to add, you know, a pop of color to the space, make it more suited to their preferences, wanted to make it interesting, wanted it to be a place where they could have their friends and family come out and have a real good time in here. Not just for them, but for their children too. They do have a teenage daughter, so they wanted it to be the cool spot for her and her friends to come and hang out. So really catering to two different age groups, one being the younger in their teenage years, and of course the parents who are in their 40s, 50s. And here we have the final result for this redesign. We've got this lovely print from Decenio. The frame is from Amazon. The picture light to add a little bit of intrigue and attention to the framed photo is from Wayfair. It's battery operated. All the artificial plants you see here on the wall is from Amazon, as well as the Welcome to the Jungle neon sign. Both the wallpaper and the console are from Wayfair. And now we can finally turn our attention to the newly installed wet bar. This was executed perfectly. The backsplash you see there is actually peel and stick tiles from Amazon. They're super sturdy and durable and of course, very affordable. The handles that you also see there are from Amazon. And my clients were really happy with the outcome of this. They had this part of it professionally done but everything else, they were super hands-on, very much so into the DIY aspect of things, and they executed everything flawlessly, in my opinion, and I was really happy to have worked with them. If you're interested in interior design services, my email address will be in the description below, and as always, thanks for watching.